YouTube, all right? This is Dell, the funky homo sapien, coming to you live. We're about to get on stage in a minute, all right? So y'all gotta check that out, okay? This is Jason of Anteater 2. This is Dell, Dell, former collaboration of the Gorillas, of Deltron 3030, and his crew, the Hieroglyphics. It's Dell, the funky homo statement. What's up, man? Nothing much, man. New album just dropped, 11th hour, dropped March 11th, you know. So, uh, been out promoting that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know you're it's your first solo album after eight years, and I know you've been through a couple, couple collaborations. I want to know how is like creating content for that. What's so different about it before? Do you learn anything from your previous collaboration and whatnot? Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you like this. I mean, I, all the stuff that I learned that I applied to this, you know, is just everything, man. You know, but really, I apply what I learned about music production and learn what I, uh, I apply what I learned about um, songwriting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And just listening to a lot of hip hop, a lot of funk. You know what I'm saying? A lot of soul, a lot of blues. You know what I'm saying? A lot of R&B. You know what I'm saying? I listen to a lot of um, um, rock, you know what I'm saying? So, you, you know, you know what's up, man. I just did my homework, tried to put it into the album, and tried to make it something decent that everybody could get into, but not just over, I didn't want to overwhelm people neither, so I just made something real cool just to kind of reintroduce myself. Yeah, your lyrical content, you you put special focus in this, you pay special to uh, structure, and your the your, your themes are what you, what you rap about. What do you rap about for this album? What I, you know, this album, you know, I just kept it real, you know, whatever I'm going through in my life, you know what I'm saying, or whatever people that are in my position go through in life, you know, the struggles, the trials, you know what I'm saying, what you got to do to just keep your head up in life, you know, that's what I rap about pretty much, you know what I'm saying, and I try to make it comic, you know, you know, try to make it with a little bit of humor or whatever, you know. So, you know, so it ain't too harsh and what whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Basically, I just get on the microphone and I just pop a lot of beat, you know what I'm saying? A lot of boo-boo, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do as an MC, you know what I'm saying? I get on the mic and I just pop off, you know? But I, but that's what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? The things that try to hold you back in life, you know what I'm saying? This is how I get through it and then maybe somebody could get an example from that, you know? Now, like... Uh, your previous collaboration with Deltron Zero is your first album. We're waiting for the second album. Last we heard is that the tracks have been set down by Kid Koala and Dan the Automator, and we're waiting for vocals. That's the last we heard. Now, you're the ones who created a story about Deltron Zero, and Deltron 3030 was about adventure. You know, it was a hero. What kind of direction can we expect of him for you to take for the next album? Same thing, you know, but more in depth, you know what I'm saying? It's going, I, I decided to. Uh, I decided to take away some of the more futuristic elements or like typical or typical futuristic elements like you know hella advanced software or cars or you know what I'm saying yeah. building structures and, I'm, and I, I wanted to make it more like something like a different a different view of the future like what happens if everybody with all the wars and all the beefing and all the riffing and stuff just destroyed everything and there ain't no government government no more it's anarchy you know what I'm saying so you gotta just same thing you know what I'm saying same thing I deal with as Dell but I put it into a more adventure type you know into a more adventure type of you know yeah. genre you know what I'm saying uh, basically what are you gonna do you know what I'm saying? Or some people is gonna punk you, take uh, take your stuff from you. Can't call the police. There ain't no law. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Are you gonna fight? Are you gonna run? Are you gonna just try to make it the way you can? Are you gonna band up with some other dudes, some rebels or something, and try to strike back at these other fools that's trying to just take over and rule just because they're stronger? You know what I'm saying? It's like, what do you do? I mean, you got this in other countries now, so. What can we expect it? Um, I'm writing it now. I got like six songs written. Something of that, something, something like that requires me to do a little bit more work to write it. You know what I'm saying? So, so I've been taking my time with that. You know what I'm saying? Something like Dell, since that's me and that's what I usually do, it doesn't require as much. You know? So something like Dell, something like Dell, trying to take a minute. You know? Are you doing any other collaboration or any other projects going on right now? Yeah, sure. I mean, I work with people all the time. I've been working with Destroy. He used to be with uh, with uh, the the arsonist uh, in uh, New York, in New York City. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Tame One. He he was down with the Artifacts. You know what I'm saying? He's out in New Jersey too. You know. Um, 
uh, let's see, who else I'm fool with? Ladybug Mecca I'm fooling with, you know what I'm saying? Um, she, she, she used to be down with uh, Dig, Diggable Planets. I, like, I know it's in your new album. Uh, Chaos, you collaborate with Chaos Unique again. I remember him from the first song, Protoculture. Yeah. Yeah, I was glad to see him again. I like the song, Protoculture. Are you still in the Protoculture, man? Yeah, I'm still into it, but you know, I mean, look. Yeah. <laughs> right there, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but I spend a lot of my time, if not all of my time, making music at this point. You know what I'm saying? This is it's, it's a real serious time, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to play around, and I'm trying to win, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to be able to stay in the game and be able to do it. So. I'm trying to get it right, you know what I'm saying, so that when you guys listen to my stuff and see what's happening, you know what I'm saying, you're going to like it, you're going to dig it, you know. So that's what's, that's what's up, man. That's what I spend most of my time doing, you know. E either, I'm, either I'm making beats. If, I, if I'm not doing any production, I'm studying about production. So if I can't get my hands on the computer to try to make something, then I'm studying about it. If I can't do that, then I'm writing or I'm doing both. I'm making songs, you know what I'm saying? So I got, I'm always collaborating with people. I got a lot of stuff going on. Then you learn a lot from your collaborators, don't you? Um, yeah, I mean, you learn a lot from everything, but you know. I mean, with collaborations, I learn like how to deal with people and how to make things work with people, you know what I'm saying? That's the main thing I learned right now. It depends on who I'm collaborating with, though, you know what I'm saying? I know older cats that are like real life musicians, like from the 70s, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I might work with them, and then it's more of a learning experience. So I work with some of my peers. It might not be as much as of a learning experience like that because we're peers, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, it's learning in a different way. It's not like they're my mentor or something teaching me. But it depends on what type of situation you win, you know. Do you work, do you continue to work that could refine your style, or is it something that you know is tried and true? That's something that's part of you. It's something that's part of me, but I'm always working on it. The one thing that I'm working on is for songs, it takes a certain type of writing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got to kind of be direct. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say that there's you know rules are made to be broken, but in general. You want to say what you got to say and do it, you know what I'm saying, be out. You only got like three or four minutes to say what you got to say, you know what I mean? So you got you to gotta say what you got to say in an entertaining way, which means you can't just say it any old way. Like, okay, I got to say it as quick as I can, I'll just say it hella simple. It's not like that. You still got to be entertaining. So it's a balance, you know what I'm saying? So it's always a balance and it depends on what the song calls for. You know, so I've been learning how to lay back sometimes. Sometimes I lay back, I won't be as wordy, or I won't be as, you know, jumping around technically with the style, you know, with cadences and stuff. Sometimes I do that if the song calls for that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I need to rap about certain subjects, like if it's for a Dell album, you know, I'll lay back on some of the subject matter for Deltron or like a Gorillaz or something like that that's more way out. I won't do that on a Dell album. I've decided let a Dell album be a Dell album, save the other things might be a little more far out for one of the other projects where they'll fit in better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it's just learning how to learn a lot more about production, how to make the music actually work with the lyrics instead of just trying to destroy the beat all the time, just annihilate the beat, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ha have it to where your cadence works with whatever rhythm is going on with the music. So, you know, some people dig it. Some people, they'd rather hear me just do the same thing over and over. So some, or, you know, they're, 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 they're reluctant to change, period. So, you know, some people don't like it, but honestly, about 97% of the feedback that I've been getting for this new album has been positive. So. Yeah.